देर आर ट्वेल्व फ्रेंड्स ए बी सी डी ई एफ जी एच आई जे के एल इन अ पार्टी सिटिंग इन टू रोज फेसिंग ईच अदर सच दैट द पर्सन इन फर्स्ट रो फेसेज साउथ एंड द पर्सन इन सेकेंड रो फेसेज नॉर्थ एंड वाइसी वर्सा सो बेसिकली ट्वेल्व फ्रेंड्स फ्रॉम ए टू एल हु आर सिटिंग इन टू रोज राइट सिटिंग इन टू रोज फेसिंग ईच अदर राइट फेसिंग ईच अदर इज इंपॉर्टेंट राइट दे आर फेसिंग ईच अदर सच दैट द पर्सन इन फर्स्ट रो फेसेज साउथ एंड द पर्सन इन सेकेंड रो राइट फर्स्ट रो फेसेज साउथ एंड पर्सन इन सेकेंड रो फेसेज नॉर्थ एंड वाइस वर्सा देन ईच पर्सन लाइक्स वन ऑफ द कलर अमंग ग्रीन रेड येलो ब्लू ब्राउन ब्लैक ऑरेंज वॉयलेट वाइट एंड पिंक बट इंटरेस्टिंगली इफ यू सी देर आर ट्वेल्व फ्रेंड्स बट ओनली टेन कलर गिवन हियर काउंट वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन सो देर इज देर टू कलर शॉर्ट इन दिस अलॉटमेंट राइट वी हैव गॉट ट्वेल्व पर्सन ईच पर्सन लाइक्स अ कलर बट ओनली टेन कलर हैव बिन गिवन so i am sure there will be some uh, data about it given in this clues uh, in the in the question further but for now you know that there are only 10 colors the further information is as follows okay so based on this set of clues that we have we have to complete the arrangement where the 12 friends have to be arranged in two rows one row faces north the other row faces south and the persons are such that they face each other when they are sitting in these rows and each person likes a color so we have to arrange the persons and also find out which person likes which of these colors now point number 1 here the violet color is liked by three persons and all the remaining colors are liked by one person each now this clears our doubt right the violet color is liked by three persons and all the remaining persons all all the remaining colors are liked by one person each so there's one color here violet which is liked by three persons so three persons like the same color the remaining nine persons have got nine different colors so each each of them likes one of those colors there okay so point number 1 is clear now look at the second point j does not like like violet will this help us no see i think if you try to look at it uh, we know that there are two rows let's say this is row 1 which faces south so here we have row 1 where the persons face south and row 2 where the persons face north so 1 2 3 4 5 6 positions here 1 2 3 4 5 6 positions here right one row faces south the other row faces north usually in such questions we are given who all are sitting in row 1 and who all sit in row 2 but even that's not available in the given data at least in the common data there nothing has been specified about which are the persons or who are the persons in row 1 and who all are in row 2 okay so you have to be a little careful when you start working on it point number 1 is clear point 2 says j does not like violet it is not useful immediately so we'll have to just uh, move to the next point f likes black and is third to the right of e see the point is in in a row where persons are facing uh, south left should be taken towards the right and right should be taken towards the left in a row where persons are facing north left is on the left and right is on the right we have discussed all this basics in the linear arrangements video right i hope all of you have gone through it so when you say f likes black and is third to the right of e it depends on e's direction if e is facing north the right of e will be towards our right if e is facing south then the right of e will be towards our left basically if e is facing north e is in row 2 if e is facing south e is in row 1 but do we know of that no we have no clue about that yet so this point though useful gives us some uh, data but it cannot be used immediately right f likes black is third to the right of e so there are two possibilities right of e can be taken towards our right or towards our left so we may have to come back and start with point number 3 but let us see if there is something more useful given to us where we at least get to know where uh the person is sitting row 1 or row 2 point 4 b does not like pink or yellow and sits opposite the person who likes black now this again is not so useful immediately right b does not like pink or yellow and sits opposite to the person who likes black look at point number 5 a likes white and is third from the left end in the second row now this gives us a starting point point number 5 see what it says a likes white and is third from the left end in the second row A is third from the left end in the second row. So second row is very clearly known to us. Second row is that which faces north. I mean, persons here face north. It should come at the bottom. So A likes white color. He is third from the left end in the second row. So from the left end, A is third. First, second, third. A comes here, and A likes which color? White color. You getting it? So some information given to us. A likes white and is third from the left end in the second row. Opposite to G. who is opposite to g a is opposite to g so if a is opposite to g obviously g would come here okay so point number 5 is done that way point number 1 also is done we know that violet color is liked by three persons 
Now go to the next point. E sits between H and A. E sits between H and A. Now here's the confusion. E sits between H and A means what? E has to come between H and A very clearly. But where would H come? There are two possibilities. H can come here at the extreme left or H can come here. If H comes here, it will become H E A. So E is between H and A. If H comes here, it will become A E H. Even in this case, E sits between H and A. You're getting it? The point says E sits between H and A. So it can be A E H or H E A. Both have to be considered. One of these two will be correct. Now, which is correct has to be checked. Now, you can do two things. One is to duplicate the current situation that we have. Take H in one case in this position, in the other case in this position and then continue. Or maybe look for something which can, you know, clearly tell us which of these two is correct here itself. Are you getting it? E sits between H and A is very useful, but two possibilities. So, we are trying to rule out one of these possible cases. Right? How can you do that? Any other point given with respect to E? I think look at this point, point number 3. Go back to point number 3. Point number 3 was with respect to E, right? So maybe this helps. See what it says. F likes black and is third to the right of E. F likes black and is third to the right of E. And is third to the right of E. Now there are two possibilities for E like we have discussed. It is, it is like this. Either it is H E A or A E H. Let us take uh, dash and dash here. Which means a E H is one pair, uh, one triplet or H dash E dash A is the other triplet. A is anywhere fixed, the positions of H and E. Either E and H will be correct or H dash and E dash would be correct. You are getting it? We are considering both in the same one because we have something else to verify. What is this point? F likes black and is third to the right of E. Now understand, E is facing the row, I mean E is facing north. So the right of E will be towards our right. Now, by any chance, if you take E to be the correct position, where should F come? F should come third to the right of E. F should come third to the right of E. Try it out. Third to the right of E. First, second, third. F is going out of the arrangement. You're getting it? If you take E as in this position, F should come third to the right of E. First, second, third. F comes here. So, you're basically throwing F out of the arrangement, which is incorrect. Which means these are not the correct positions of E and H. H dash and E dash are correct. So, we are done. We now know which is the correct set. So let me clear it out. And H dash and E dash. I mean, I can remove the dashes now because it is very clear that H and E would take those two positions. So this point is also done. E sits between H and A. And also to complete the point number three. F likes black. Third to the right of E. Third to the right of E. Go to the right of E. First, second, third. F comes here. F is third to the right of E. First, second, third. And F likes black, by the way. So take black there. Done. Next point, H is on the left side of A and likes red. Oh, we could have used point number 6 or 7 also, but not needed. See, if you had used point number 7, we will very clearly get to know where exactly is H. See, point number 7 says H is on the left side of A. H is on the left side of A. In this case, H is on the right side of A. So, this is incorrect. This has to be correct. See, H should be on the left side of A, right? And left of A is towards our left because A is facing north. H is on the left side of A. But then even without using this point, we were able to fix the position of H. Now that's called smart work. Of course, you could, if you could have read this immediately, that would have been smarter. You will save some time. But see, the advantage is we found we, we have found that some part of the information given here is redundant for us, which means we are we, we can complete the arrangement with lesser data than what is given here. H is on the left side of A is not needed for us. We have already found that H is on the left side of A. And likes red. This part is useful. Second part is useful. Who likes red? H. H. H likes red. Right? H likes red. So this is done. Right? I don't know how many of you are done using point 3. This is an important question. Right? Whether you use point 3 or point 7. Both are correct. Point 7 in fact is easier. But in terms of something that is smart, I would say go for, I mean, point 3 is I mean, if you use point three, it shows that you have done it in a smarter way. Anyway, let's let's move forward. The person who likes pink does not sit at corners. Now, this point will not be useful immediately, right? The person who likes pink does not sit at corners. L likes green and sits in the first row opposite to the person who likes violet. L likes green, okay, sits in the first row, even that is okay. Opposite to the person who likes violet. Now, who likes violet? Not clear. So, keep it on hold. Next point. C and E like violet and sit opposite to each other. C and now this point is useful. C and E like violet and sit opposite each other. So we already know that E is seated here in this position. E likes violet. 
C also likes violet and sits opposite to each other. I mean, C sits opposite to E. So, understand we have already got two persons who like this color. We know that there are total three persons who like violet, right? Two of these are C and E. Now, we have to find out the third person. Again, if you go back to the previous point, point number nine, it said L likes green, sits in the first row. So, L will come in the first row, opposite to the person who likes violet. Now, one person who likes violet here is E. Can L come opposite to E? No, because opposite to E is already C here. All right. So, which means either this person who comes in this dash here or this person like likes violet and the person who is seated opposite to either of these would be the person L who likes green color. You're getting it just trying to align with respect to the given data. We are not using it immediately, but that's very clear that L would either come in this position or this position. These two dots are the possibilities for L. L likes green color, sits opposite to the person who likes violet. So, either of these two color persons would like violet. Anyway, K likes brown and sits opposite to the person who likes red. Person who likes red, H. Yeah, so this point is useful, very useful. K likes brown and sits opposite to the person who likes red. So, K would come here and likes which color? Brown. I likes orange and sits at one of the corners of the first row. This is again very easy. I likes orange and sits at one of the corners of first row. So I comes here, right, first row and uh, one of the corners. So the only corner is this one because the other corner is blocked and I likes orange. Now go back to our previous uh, understanding. We had discussed that L like green sits in the first row opposite the person who likes violet. Now you know that if L has to be opposite to the one who likes violet, it can only come in this position now. Earlier there were two possibilities, either this or this, but here we know that I sits. So L has to come here. L likes which color? Green color. And L sits opposite the one who likes violet. So whoever comes in that position, in, the, in this position here, will also like violet. You getting it? L is opposite the one who likes violet color. Right? L is opposite the one who likes violet color. So L has to come here with the person who seated, sits here liking violet color. So we used 12, 11, 10, 9 point also has been used, right? Sits in the first row opposite the person who likes violet color. Then the person who likes pink does not sit at the corners. Now there are, okay, the person who likes pink does not sit at the corners. Look at this, this point is useful now. The person who likes pink does not sit at corners. So if you look at the uh, Colors left out, yeah, person who like pink can be this, can be this. There are two possibilities, either G likes pink or the person who comes here would like pink. So not useful immediately, point number eight. Anything else? Okay, look at this point, point number four. B does not like pink or yellow sits opposite to the person who likes black. B sits opposite to the person who likes black. Now we know that F likes black. So B has to come opposite to the person who likes black. B will come here. And B does not like pink or yellow. So B does not like pink or yellow. But which color does B like exactly is not clear. And okay, look at the first, the second point. J does not like violet. See, we know that J can come either in, in either of these two positions, right? J does not like violet. We know that this position is blocked for the person who likes violet color. So J cannot come here. So J has to come only in this position. There's no choice. So only one person left out. Who is that? A, B, C is done. E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. D. D is left out. D has to come here. So I think with respect to persons, the arrangement is done. With respect to colors, red, violet, white, violet, black. J's color has to be found. Okay. Here, brown, violet, G's color has to be identified. L likes green, I likes orange. So I think three more colors are to be found, right? Which are those three colors? Three violets are done, right? We have got orange, we have got brown, we have got black, we have got blue is left, yellow is left, red is done, green also is done. Okay, and white and pink. White is also done. So three colors now, yellow, blue, pink. I think something was given about pink, right? B does not like pink or yellow. So out of the three colors left, pink, yellow and blue, B does not like pink or yellow. So obviously B would like blue color. So B has to go for blue color. Okay. So this point is also done. And what else? So blue is also done. Now the only two colors left are pink and yellow. Something else was given with respect to pink. 
Ha, look at this point number 8. We have not used this. The person who likes pink does not sit at the corners. So the corner person does not like pink. J does not like pink. So obviously, uh, G will go for pink. Right? G has to go for pink. And now, J can be given yellow. Done. Alright? So that's the final arrangement. I think without considering any other possibility, in just one attempt, we have been able to complete it. Please do not go by the length of the explanation. Don't think that it is actually so lengthy because I am explaining it here. I'm not solving it, right? If I have to solve for myself, then I'll do it really quick. I not have to read out all the points louder and, you know, explain what is happening in my mind. And, and same is applicable to you, right? So if we have spent five minutes solving it here or 10 minutes solving it here, doesn't mean that it actually takes 10 minutes. Okay. And we have also used this point, right? J does not like violet. Yeah. So there was some portion in point number seven, which was redundant, right? Not useful. And uh, yeah, in fact, J, uh, yeah, yeah. Point number seven had some part, which is, so shall we look at the questions now? I think five questions have been asked, but I'll have to clear this underlining and all that. So while I clear all this scribbling that we had done or that I had done rather, you guys look at the questions. Five simple questions. You don't have to worry about questions anymore. Once the arrangement is done, answering the questions is just a cakewalk. So the first three questions are very clear on your screen now. The fourth one is coming up. Okay. So here are the questions. Who is sitting on the immediate right of F? Immediate right of F. Be careful, F is facing north. So right should be towards our right. Immediate right of F is J, option three. Who amongst the following is not sitting in the second row? Who is not sitting in the second row? A, E, J, B, F. A is there in second row. E is there in second row. J is there. F is there. B, B sitting in the first row. So B is the answer. Who is sitting opposite to the person who likes black? Who is sitting opposite to the person who likes black? F likes black. Opposite to F is B. None of these, right? None of these. Which of the following statements is false? Which is false? G likes pink. Uh, G likes pink is true. K is sitting in the first row. K is sitting in the first row is also true. D likes violet. D likes violet is true. L is on the immediate right of B. L is on the immediate right of B. Yes. See, B is facing south. B is facing south. Immediate right will be L only. Correct. So, L is on the immediate right of B is also true. We want what is false. So, 1, 2, 3, 4 are true, which means obviously 5 is false. J is sitting opposite to black. Is J sitting opposite to black? No. Who among the following is not sitting at the corner? Who is not sitting in the corner? J, D, I, H, K. Uh, J, I, H, K. D. D is not sitting at the corner. Right? So, the answers are 3, 4, 5, 5, 2. Alright?